Great Goose. Laughing our way to the bank. Bet on banks. Those haters that's not in our ranks. Send them our strength. Follow God and follow our saint. Learn his word and follow his maze. Father, me and wifey pulling our weight. Off of your grace, yeah, off of your grace. Cause we working in the screaming it. Cause this black love is infinite. Let me dry you, put the engine in. Let me dry you, put Good morning, good morning, everybody. Good morning, BOB squad. It's your boy Terry. Finally back with another video. I know I've been gone for a minute, um, and this kind, this video is kind of gonna explain uh, why, where I've been, and uh, give y'all some insight to what I'm doing. So uh, I'm glad to be back, finally back with you guys. Um, been missing y'all, man. I've hated not being able to put out content like we used to, um, but what I'm doing here is, is kind of hectic and just makes it hard to pick up the camera all the time and uh give you guys that good content that we're used to um it is monday morning uh july 18th and i am here in fargo north dakota uh i'm in my truck right now it's 5 40 in the morning and um I basically been been hot shot trucking uh, for the, for those that don't know what that is. That's bas it's basically trucking just on a smaller scale. Um, you see the big semi trucks out here running up across the country. Uh, I do the same exact thing, just on a smaller scale, as far as weight capacity. And I'm in a pickup truck. I'm in in my pickup truck. Uh, so that's that's where i've been that's what i've been doing um right now like i said it's monday i've been out for a week i left last monday i left home last monday uh of course carmen is at home and jackson is at home clay is at home um i'm ready to wrap this week up and, and get back home jackson's birthday is next week so i'm gonna take the week off next week and just hang out with my baby, hang out with my, my family and get some other things done. But uh, before we get, get any further, um, I'm actually about to go pick up my first load for the week. It's about 40 minutes from where I'm at now. I'm at a, at a truck stop here in, like I said, Fargo, North Dakota. And I'm actually about to leave and head to the first pickup, uh, which is about 40 minutes away. <clears throat> and uh just basically get my week started so i wanted to i wanted to do this video i've been wanting to do it like i said it's just hard to find the time but i just man i i, I gotta commit recommit to you guys uh the bob squad thank y'all so much for just hanging in there and i know carmen's put out a couple videos by herself and that's why she did them by herself uh because i'm always always on the road and that's one of the hardest parts of this thing is being away from them especially Jackson um, being so young little uh, <clears throat> but at the end of the day we got to do what we got to do um, I'll give y'all some more insight to what I'm uh, the job and you know me leaving coke and all of that other stuff uh, later on but uh, let's get this day started if you're new to the channel um thank you for clicking on and, and watching go ahead hit that subscribe button become a part of the bob squad one of the dopest families one of the realest families on on youtube um get this video thumbs up for me being out here hustling grinding because this job is this job is a, it's a grind for real it's a, it's a for real grind so um <clears throat> And leave a comment leave a comment let me know what you're thinking about the video uh, about what I'm doing about what you're seeing 
and uh, let's get into it. Let's let's head to this this first pickup. I'll see y'all when we get there. Is about to take place. Something good is about to happen. All right, y'all. So we're here. Um, I just we just pulled up to the uh, pickup location. <clears throat> I know we're picking up a John, like an old John Deere tractor. So I don't know if this is a uh, like a private John Deere dealer or a repair shop or what it is it looked like like it's just a big farm but let's go ahead and and see what's what's happening what we're getting and get it loaded and get up out of here let's go Alright y'all, so this is the load for now. Um depending on if Carmen finds something else, I'll back this up a little bit further to the back. And I'll have probably about 20, 20 more feet left to put something else on here. Just depending on if she if she finds something. You know, light, easy securement load. Two chains, two binders. Lock down in the front. Lock down in the back. I really hope this thing don't catch no leak or nothing like that. Leak oil all over my trailer. But other than that, we're good to go. On to the next. I'll see y'all in a few minutes. What's up, guys? So, we right here. I pulled over on the side of the road. Um, nothing's wrong. Like I said earlier, I had two chains, two binders. Um, but I was, as I was going down the road, I could see it rocking a little bit. So I just added a third chain around that back uh, differential. Uh, I don't know if y'all can hear me. Just a little bit more security, make me feel a little bit more comfortable about it. So. Now we uh three chains, three binders. Like I said, I feel a little bit better about it now, so let's keep on moving. Hopefully we can get this delivered today. Uh, we should be able to, no problems. So let's get back on the road. Let's go. like that it's a done deal all right y'all we back in the truck y'all just see we made the drop same day i let uh i love those those kind of uh loads where you, it's a short run drop it in the same day uh quicker you get your, your money quicker you get that bread um 
Carmen's working on another load to pick up, I don't know, about 20 minutes from here. Uh, the crazy thing is the load is going right back to North Dakota where we picked that up. It's paying, it's paying really good. Um, it's probably going about an hour, hour and a half, maybe two hours from where we picked that up. So uh, let me give her a call, figure out the details on the load. And uh, as soon as we get to the pickup, I'll let y'all know. All right, y'all, so we are here at Chippeway Valley Equipment. Um, I don't know what Carmen booked. Uh, some something that needs the ramps again. So I'm gonna go ahead and let the ramps down and get loaded. Whatever it is, it's only like uh, ten feet, seven thousand pounds, or something like that. Um. So yeah, let's get loaded. Let's load up and get back on the road. So. Y'all probably looking and saying, man, you got all this long trailer and you only putting like these little one pieces on there. Um, normally, I would uh, try to partial like the tractor with something else. Um, and this this little thing, like I said, I think it's only 10 feet. Um, I would normally try to find something else to put with it going the same direction. But this area that I'm in, uh, it's, it's just nothing, no freight really moving. So I'm just tr trying to take what I can get at the best rate possible. And Carmen is killing them on the rates. Uh, and just run it, run it up. Um, of course, if I was able to partial it with, with another load, that would mean more money, of course. Uh, but like I said, I'm just in, uh, this is, I'm in Wisconsin right now. And it's just not really much moving, moving around here. So, like I say, you just got to take what you get. Uh, when I get to North Dakota, back to North Dakota, I'm going to probably get out of, get far away from there. Uh, find something going to a whole nother area, maybe back down south or something. Um, I know by Wednesday, I'm, I'm going to start working my way back toward the house, back toward Houston. Uh, cause like I said, Jackson's birthday is next week and I definitely, uh, have to be home for that. So, uh, I appreciate y'all hanging out with me. Um, let me give y'all a glimpse of what's going on in our lives, in my life, Carmen's life. Uh, and when I keep saying Carmen is finding lows, Carmen is basically dispatching for me. Uh, she sits at the house on the computer just about all day um making sure this trailer stays loaded and these wheels stay turning because if the wheels ain't turning hey ain't no bread going in the bank so that's what i mean when i say carmen's uh doing this or doing that she's she's basically at home dispatching for me um so let me go, let me go see what's up with this dude because he's taking too long and my clock is running so as soon as he gets out here, we'll get loaded and hit the road. Hey, I guess, I guess y'all, it's just uh, full-fledged tractor week or something. I don't know what's going on here. This is what we loading up. That's good, that's good. All right, y'all, we pretty much got the same thing. Uh, the big, only difference is this is a little bit bigger and it's got a bucket. And once again, two chains, two binders. We locked in pretty good. I ain't worried about this one moving. So, let's get it back to North Dakota. All right, y'all, that's a wrap for the day. Um, I just pulled in, I ran my clock out. Um, probably got about 
20 more minutes left, but I ain't gonna make it nowhere. So I'm here at Flying J, the truck stop. It's crowded, it's super packed, it's super packed. So I'm gonna get right here on the side. Uh, sometimes you pull in these truck stops so they don't need nowhere to park. You just gotta get creative and, and make a spot. So that's it pretty much for the day. Um, I'll see y'all in the morning, first thing in the morning. I'm about to go in here and give me something to eat. Uh, I know the shower is going to be it's gonna be a crazy line, so I'll probably take a shower in the morning. And uh, I'll see y'all in the morning. We'll pick up in the morning. Peace. Good morning, good morning, everybody. We're back. It's another day. It's the next day, Tuesday. Um, thank God for letting us see another day uh, sleep well through the night safely man I was be out here on this road and you see a lot you see a lot a lot of things happening and just want to thank God uh, for keeping you you know what I'm saying um, I don't take it lightly I don't take that for granted uh, just based on the fact that I do see a lot a lot of stuff happening out here so but with that being said, uh, we're still on the load from yesterday, the tractor. Um, I've been driving for a few hours now. I woke up about five, uh, no, about four. Jumped in the shower, uh, got ready for the day, and pulled out about five. It's nine o'clock now. And we have just a few hours out from the drop. So if you're still watching, uh, if you made it this far in the video, thank you for hanging in there with me. Thank you for hanging out with me. Um, and if you're new to the channel, uh, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Become a part of the B.O.B. squad. Uh, turn on your post notifications. Get this video a like. All that, all that good YouTube stuff. Um, it just helps the channel. It helps us out. Me and Carmen. Um, but yeah, we on the road, man. Uh, <laughs> like I said, just a few hours out from the drop. Uh, Carmen's already, I, I just got off the phone with Carmen. She's already working on something to pick up. Um, kind of that way, I might have to dead it a little bit. But like I said yesterday, man, it's just the area that I'm in, North Dakota, South Dakota, Wisconsin, uh, not, not Wisconsin, we just left Wisconsin, uh, Minnesota. Uh, it's freight coming out, moving, but it ain't, it, these rates, these rates, so we're not taking no cheap, don't do cheap freight. Uh, period. So if we got a deadhead a little bit, we can get something at a better rate. Or if we just got to sit, that's what it is. Because, um, like I said, we, we, we don't do cheap freight. We, we just, that's not what, what we out here for. Uh, to, to make the brokers rich. We out here trying to get rich ourselves. So, uh, she's working on picking up something, uh, finding something in that area to pick up. And uh, we'll just see, see what happens later on in the day. Uh, I don't know. I'll get back with y'all when we get to the drop. Peace. y'all right, see we just got unloaded we are here at the drop i don't even know what this place is uh in the middle of nowhere i mean literally nowhere in the middle of there's nothing around here um but y'all saw the guy take the tractor off uh we're unloaded empty trailer time to put something on it uh 
Carmen's working on something again. Where from? I don't know. Where to? I don't know. So I'm gonna just just find the nearest uh, truck stop, which was way back up the road, way back up the road, maybe 40, 50 miles. So I'm gonna just go kind of hang out there and wait and see what happens. Um, we'll be back. I, I'll get back with y'all as soon as I, I know what, what's going on. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, BOP squad. We are back. We are back with uh, the next day. Um, today is Wednesday. Uh, it's about 12.30. I don't know. I don't even remember where we uh, left off yesterday. I think it was at the drop back in uh, North Dakota. Up by Canada. Um, so we dropped that yesterday and uh, Carmen, Carmen was on the low board and no, nothing nothing was really happening on the low board. Um, she couldn't really find anything. I couldn't find anything that was worth me rolling my wheel. So I just kind of uh, posted up at the truck stop at uh, Flying J for the night and uh, hit the low board again this morning. Carmen did end up finding the load here in, right next door in South Dakota, uh, which is about Boyd, South Dakota, which is about a two hour drive from where I was, uh, about a hundred, like 110 miles, something like that. So it's a, it's a two hour deadhead uh, to Boyd, South Dakota, where we're picking up a I believe it's a Kubota skid steer or something like that. Some kind of tractor. I, I don't know what's going on this week where we just moving tractors and new tractors, old tractors, uh, farming equipment. That's just, I guess that's what's happening up in this area. But nonetheless, it's, it's a good pan load. It's a really good pan load. And it's taking us back to Texas. Um, it's a small, it's a small load, about 12 feet, like 8,000 pounds. So on the way I'm gonna try to find something to partial with it uh, going the same direction and um, just make, make the load more profitable uh, so that's where we're at um, I, again I appreciate y'all for hanging out with me and just kind of going through this week with me allowing me to show you guys what I do now um, and I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys. So uh, I'll see y'all when we get to the pickup. I'm about I'm about 40 minutes out. So we'll get get there, get loaded, and get back on the road. I'll see y'all in a few minutes. All right, y'all. We made it. We're here at the pickup. Um, get some equipment. Uh, some kind of equipment place. Uh, that's what we're picking up. Let's go ahead and get loaded. Get up out of here. Hit the road. Time to head back home. Same setup, two chains, two binders. Um, rear, front. But that's it. We locked and loaded. Let's head home and find something else on the way. Let's go. Good morning, good morning, BOB squad. And just like that, we are back in Houston. Um, we are here Turn in, right under Spoke Hollow I don't know, Road. about 20 miles outside of Austin in Wimberley, Texas. Uh, we got the the tractor or the skid steer still loaded, and that's what we're about to drop off. We are Continue pulling up on to Spoke the Hollow drop Road about a mile, mile away from the drop, so we'll be there in a few minutes. And we are going to get unloaded. And I was going to... I'm probably about two two hours from the house um from my house kate and katie 
I was gonna try to find something to take me home, just a few couple hundred dollars to take care of the gas. But I think I'm gonna just go ahead and dead, dead head home. Um, if you're a driver and you be out here on the road for weeks at a time, you know when you get close to home, you start getting anxious and you start getting excited. And that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm, I'm ready to see my baby. I'm ready to see my family. Uh, but more so anything than anything, um, I'm ready to see Jackson and just hold my baby and be with him. So I think that's what we're going to do. So let's get this thing unloaded, get it off our trailer, and head, take it to the house. All right, y'all, we are here getting unloaded. He's about to drive it off. Are we getting the heck up out of here? Easy money. Easy money. Right, guys we have officially made it home thank god for the journey um thank god for a safe successful uh profitable run um i'm just glad to be home man let's go in here and uh let's see what kind of reaction we get from jackson um he's like at this point when we get to this point he's over facetime and he's just like whatever <laughs> So let's go inside and see what kind of reaction we get from him. <laughs> I got him, I think you put it. Where's my baby at? Where's Jackson? I don't know. There you have it. The reason we're doing it all. Say hi. Daddy, daddy. <coughs> you got milk all over your mouth. What? You got milk all over your mouth. Look at that smile. All right, y'all. So again, thank y'all for hanging out with me all week. I know this video is going to be a little bit long, but... That's all right, right? Again, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Um, get this video a thumbs up. So we making it home safely to this guy right here. Uh, leave a comment, whatever, whatever you want to say, <laughs> and we'll see y'all in the next video. We out. Say bye bye. Peace. Laughing our way to the bank. Only one man is getting all things. Only one man can drive away the rain. Only one man can pick the sun up. When biologists don't want us. Real enough? Is it real enough? In my old life, have to give it up. Leave it up to me.